This video is sponsored by Adobe. The other one that I wanted to show you is called Clockwose. And uh, Clockwose, um, I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that right, but basically Clockwose is for creating pie charts in InDesign. To give you a quick demonstration, I actually currently have a blank document and, and this works in a way, if you've ever done charts in Illustrator, it works in a similar way in that it's based on data that, that you already have. So what I'm going to do here, I'm going to create a table and we're just going to start with something basic. Um, actually, let me do it this way. Insert table. I'm going to do four rows and uh, two columns. So like, let's say we wanted to do kind of a tally of where everybody was from that, that's here at the conference. So I'm going to type like uh, North America and I'm going to type like, let's just say 50% uh, of the people. And then we can say uh, Europe, uh, we'll say 25%, probably Canada. I know I have a few, if I can spell here, Canada, uh, let's say um, 10%. And then um, let's see, how about South America? Do 5%. I'm totally making these numbers up. So don't anybody be offended about this. And then, um, ooh, Australia. And then we'll do 5%. I think that totals 100. So the way Clockwose works in, in your scripts panel, you're going to have um, a script called Clockwose. And, and currently I have the trial version installed uh, just to demonstrate this to you. But basically what you want to do is select the table that contains your data. And then when you execute the Clockwose script, this is a very refined and fairly robust script. I, I really um, enjoy this. Um, you can choose the color theme that you want to use for this, right? So I can choose whatever color theme I wish here. You could choose your layout. Um, you can also define some extra properties like the data unit and things like that. The, the decimals, uh, I'll probably set that to, to zero. And then um, you have some other preferences as well. And when you click the create button, what Clockwose does is it creates your chart as well as the legend that goes with that chart. So again, I'm using the trial version, so it's limited to only this type of chart, but in the full version, you can do a pie chart and you can even explode the pieces um, if you want to. So that is Clockwose. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to give it a like and subscribe to our channel. And for thousands more how-to articles and tutorials, visit our website, creativepro.com, and become a member today. Thanks for learning with us.